Hi again. So, the Seiko is gone. My Tudor uh, turtle paddy um, has gone. I found someone online who desperately wanted one and he had a watch to trade, so I thought I'd go for it. What is it, I hear you ask? Well, here it is. It's a spinnaker. Now, to be fair, I don't know much about spinnaker at all. I went online um, and had a look round. Basically, I looked at a couple of reviews, seen what it was like, and I thought, let's go for it, what the heck. I really like it. It feels so much more substantial than the Seiko. I know there's a lot of people who love Seiko, but to be fair, at that price point, uh, it felt like a, a cheaper watch where this feels, it feels like a really expensive watch. It's the Spinnaker Tessa Bronze. Um, it only came out last year. Uh, in the UK, these go for about £720, which is, you know, not quite double the Seiko, but to be fair, it feels a lot more watch than the Seiko did. It's a, well, as we can see, it's a, a bronze case watch. So that means you're going to get a, um, it's going to change over time. The patina of the actual bronze will darken and sometimes you can get like a patchy kind of work to it. Like you can see here, it's darker here than it is here but it just adds to the beauty of it. The other good thing being a bronze watch is all my other watches are stainless steel. Um, I take it back, I've got one ceramic, but this just looks different. Immediately you look at it and you just know, you know, it's, it's different. It's not that polished steel look, which, you know, some people like, some people don't. A couple of years ago, I, I remember when Tudor released their bronze watch and I thought, God, it sounds awful, who the heck wants that? <laughs> I've got one. You know what it's like if taste change. Um, so anyway, a bit more about watch. It's a 43 diameter. It's very eminous. It's got that kind of Submariner look about it, the case design and all that, which let's face it, isn't a bad thing. It's a, as we can see from the side there, helium release valve, which is always good to brag about. Not that anyone ever uses one. The back of the watch is stainless steel. Uh, this being that you don't want bronze really on the back. Some people find if they they might find that they get a reaction to the bronze and they'll actually end up having a bit of a green tinge coming off the watch, which is never good. The movement there is a Solita SW200, which um, when I brought the watch, it was running about eight or 10 seconds a day uh, plus. I have got some new software on my phone where I actually took the back off and regulated the watch and now it runs pretty well, I'd say a minus one second a day. I'll leave that for another video and I'll take the back off and I'll demonstrate how to use it. Not for the faint hearted, I must point out. The crown is signed, which is a nice touch. I think you can just about get that in there. It's a stainless steel crown because you don't want a bronze crown it's too soft but the stainless steel is actually then made to look like bronze a bit like the clasp as well stainless steel but again made to look like bronze and it's actually signed with the company emblem which is nice on the front we have an amazing dial um, a lovely 3d dial the waves in the background are very nice. The hour markers are placed on the chapter ring, giving it a real 3D look. Um, definitely more interesting than most watches out there. But the, um, the bezel is a 120 click bezel. Got a nice sound to it. I actually like 60 click bezels more, I don't know why, but that's just me. Yeah, nice action. 
C says to line it back up. There we go. The bezel insert is ceramic, though it's a matte finish, which kind of looks nice. When I brought the watch, actually, the guy had lowered the price because there was a tiny mark on the ceramic, and I simply got a M3 Scotch Bright pad and very lightly with lots of water just went over it and now it can't be seen. The same here, there was a small ding he didn't mention, but I simply polished that out. It's, it's gone now, no problem. The bezel also ha is fully loomed, which looks pretty damn impressive in the evening. Um, I find that if I put a torch on the watch, um, you can then read the watch all the way through the night. To, um, but in all fairness to the Seiko, um, the Seiko was better. The it's a dive watch, but it actually comes on leather. Some people think that's counterintuitive, but it's actually a treated leather, which is okay in water. In fact, it's actually a very nice um, leather strap. It's actually signed with the company logo there, and it's got made in Italy. It's it's actually, in some ways, it's quite nice buying it used because it's been broken in nicely. It's also got the quick release spring bars on here, which these are the first watch my well, first level watch with these on and I must admit I think they're great they're just make it so much easier to change over the strap though as of yet I haven't really tried it on any other straps but the beauty is with a, a watch on leather you can change its look quite easily uh, I've been looking at a couple of the ISO dive straps I've seen one in, in brown which I might go for the, the watch actually says Swiss made on it um, so I think that believes that 60% of the watch must be made in, in Switzerland, I believe. So it just feels really nice. If I put it on my wrist, um, I won't clasp it down for now, but yeah, it, it's got a nice presence to it. It's not too big. Um, the Seiko I didn't really get on with, I don't know why. In fact, the guy who I traded with, I now noticed has actually got it up for sale also, so I guess it wasn't for him. But that's the way it goes. We've all been there. Um, one of the nice touches, again, this watch actually has over the Seiko, and still at this price point, um, I'd expect, is it's got sapphire crystal, which is always a bit of a letdown on the Seikos, really. And even on the back, it's sapphire. So it, I believe it's also got AR coating. Um, but I, I really like this watch. Um, the Seiko I was humming and hawing if I liked it or not and I just even after 24 hours I knew it wasn't for me where this one I like it's um, it feels like an expensive watch it really is in a different league I know that Spinnaker makes some cheaper watches but I don't care this is um, really impressive I really like this one anyway I'll leave it at that and I'll come back with a video on how I actually regulated it Okay, until next time, bye.